Why build buildings? Or cityscapes? Or homes, or offices, or malls, or schools? Why build anything at all? Because to build is to give shape to hopes and ambitions. Not just form to brick and mortar, but to make room for the things that truly matter. And when that is the dream, there's no resting on it. You just have to get out there and do its bidding. No matter how tough the going, you push back against doubts, against questions, and you make room for the impossible. Room for not fitting in. Because for the extraordinary, well, you've got to make room. We build iconic skyscrapers and landmark townships just so that we can make room. Room for passion and room for innovation. For aspirations and for vision. Room for bigger and better, but also for gentler and kinder. Room for determination and for love and all the things that we must make room for. Room for foresight and for delight. Room to thrive and to feel alive. Room for nature and for business. Room for greens and money browns and yellows and blues and pinks and all the colors you dream in. Room for the ethical and for the audacious. Room for big and the bold and for subtle and the small. Room for hopes and for prayers. Room for the unknown and for the courage to go there. All the blood, sweat and tears, all the struggle and the grit and the grime, it all falls in place when the dream comes alive. So why do we build anything at all? Because when we build, we also make room. We are Brigade. In a world where we can make anything, we make room. Why build buildings? Or cityscapes? Or homes, or offices, or malls, or schools? Why build anything at all? Because to build is to give shape to hopes and ambitions. Not just form to brick and mortar, but to make room for the things that truly matter. And when that is the dream, there's no resting on it. You just have to get out there and do its bidding. No matter how tough the going, you push back against doubts, against questions, and you make room for the impossible. Room for not fitting in. Because for the extraordinary, well, you've got to make room. We build iconic skyscrapers and landmark townships just so that we can make room. Room for passion and room for innovation. For aspirations and for vision. Room for bigger and better, but also for gentler and kinder. Room for determination and for love and all the things that we must make room for. Room for foresight and for delight. Room to thrive and to feel alive. Room for nature and for business. 
room for greens and muddy browns and yellows and blues and pinks and all the colors you dream in. Room for the ethical and for the audacious, room for big and the bold and for subtle and the small, room for hopes and for prayers, room for the unknown and for the courage to go there. All the blood, sweat and tears, all the struggle and the grit and the grime, it all falls in place when the dream comes alive. So why do we build anything at all? Because when we build, we also make room. We are Brigade. In a world where we can make anything, we make room. Why build buildings? Or cityscapes? Or homes, or offices, or malls, or schools? Why build anything at all? Because to build is to give shape to hopes and ambitions. Not just form to brick and mortar, but to make room for the things that truly matter. And when that is the dream, there's no resting on it. You just have to get out there and do its bidding. No matter how tough the going, you push back against doubts, against questions, and you make room for the impossible. Room for not fitting in. Because for the extraordinary, well, you've got to make room. We build iconic skyscrapers and landmark townships just so that we can make room. Room for passion and room for innovation. For aspirations and for vision. Room for bigger and better, but also for gentler and kinder. Room for determination and for love and all the things that we must make room for. Room for foresight and for delight. Room to thrive and to feel alive. Room for nature and for business. Room for greens and muddy browns and yellows and blues and pinks and all the colors you dream in. Room for the ethical and for the audacious, room for big and the bold and for subtle and the small, room for hopes and for prayers, room for the unknown and for the courage to go there. All the blood, sweat and tears, all the struggle and the grit and the grime, it all falls in place when the dream comes alive. So why do we build anything at all? Because when we build, we also make room. We are Brigade. In a world where we can make anything, we make room.
Why build buildings? Or cityscapes? Or homes, or offices, or malls, or schools? Why build anything at all? Because to build is to give shape to hopes and ambitions. Not just form to brick and mortar, but to make room for the things that truly matter. And when that is the dream, there's no resting on it. You just have to get out there and do its bidding. No matter how tough the going, you push back against doubts, against questions, and you make room for the impossible. Room for not fitting in. Because for the extraordinary, well, you've got to make room. We build iconic skyscrapers and landmark townships just so that we can make room. Room for passion and room for innovation. For aspirations and for vision. Room for bigger and better, but also for gentler and kinder. Room for determination and for love and all the things that we must make room for. Room for foresight and for delight. Room to thrive and to feel alive. Room for nature and for business. Room for greens and money browns and yellows and blues and pinks and all the colors you dream in. Room for the ethical and for the audacious. Room for big and the bold and for subtle and the small. Room for hopes and for prayers. Room for the unknown and for the courage to go there. All the blood, sweat and tears, all the struggle and the grit and the grime, it all falls in place when the dream comes alive. So why do we build anything at all? Because when we build, we also make room. We are Brigade. In a world where we can make anything, we make room. Why build buildings? Or cityscapes? Or homes, or offices, or malls, or schools? Why build anything at all? Because to build is to give shape to hopes and ambitions. Not just form to brick and mortar, but to make room for the things that truly matter. And when that is the dream, there's no resting on it. You just have to get out there and do its bidding. No matter how tough the going, you push back against doubts, against questions, and you make room for the impossible. Room for not fitting in. Because for the extraordinary, well, you've got to make room. We build iconic skyscrapers and landmark townships just so that we can make room. Room for passion and room for innovation. For aspirations and for vision. Room for bigger and better, but also for gentler and kinder. Room for determination and for love and all the things that we must make room for. Room for foresight and for delight. Room to thrive and to feel alive. Room for nature and for business. 
room for greens and muddy browns and yellows and blues and pinks and all the colors you dream in. Room for the ethical and for the audacious, room for big and the bold and for subtle and the small, room for hopes and for prayers, room for the unknown and for the courage to go there. All the blood, sweat and tears, all the struggle and the grit and the grime, it all falls in place when the dream comes alive. So why do we build anything at all? Because when we build, we also make room. We are Brigade. In a world where we can make anything, we make room. Why build buildings? Or cityscapes? Or homes, or offices, or malls, or schools? Why build anything at all? Because to build is to give shape to hopes and ambitions. Not just form to brick and mortar, but to make room for the things that truly matter. And when that is the dream, there's no resting on it. You just have to get out there and do its bidding. No matter how tough the going, you push back against doubts, against questions, and you make room for the impossible. Room for not fitting in. Because for the extraordinary, well, you've got to make room. We build iconic skyscrapers and landmark townships just so that we can make room. Room for passion and room for innovation. For aspirations and for vision. Room for bigger and better, but also for gentler and kinder. Room for determination and for love and all the things that we must make room for. Room for foresight and for delight. Room to thrive and to feel alive. Room for nature and for business. Room for greens and muddy browns and yellows and blues and pinks and all the colors you dream in. Room for the ethical and for the audacious, room for big and the bold and for subtle and the small, room for hopes and for prayers, room for the unknown and for the courage to go there. All the blood, sweat and tears, all the struggle and the grit and the grime, it all falls in place when the dream comes alive. So why do we build anything at all? Because when we build, we also make room. We are Brigade. In a world where we can make anything, we make room.
Why build buildings? Or cityscapes? Or homes, or offices, or malls, or schools? Why build anything at all? Because to build is to give shape to hopes and ambitions. Not just form to brick and mortar, but to make room for the things that truly matter. And when that is the dream, there's no resting on it. You just have to get out there and do its bidding. No matter how tough the going, you push back against doubts, against questions, and you make room for the impossible. Room for not fitting in. Because for the extraordinary, well, you've got to make room. We build iconic skyscrapers and landmark townships just so that we can make room. Room for passion and room for innovation. For aspirations and for vision. Room for bigger and better, but also for gentler and kinder. Room for determination and for love and all the things that we must make room for. Room for foresight and for delight. Room to thrive and to feel alive. Room for nature and for business. Room for greens and money browns and yellows and blues and pinks and all the colors you dream in. Room for the ethical and for the audacious. Room for big and the bold and for subtle and the small. Room for hopes and for prayers. Room for the unknown and for the courage to go there. All the blood, sweat and tears, all the struggle and the grit and the grime, it all falls in place when the dream comes alive. So why do we build anything at all? Because when we build, we also make room. We are Brigade. In a world where we can make anything, we make room.
Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 28th annual general meeting of uh, Brigade Enterprises Limited. Uh, let me introduce the board of directors and uh, senior colleagues uh, present here. I'll uh, first start with the executive directors in the alphabetical order. Mr. Amar Mysore, executive director. Good morning. Mr. Emma Jayashankar, sitting to my right, executive chairman. Good morning. Ms. Nirupa Shankar, Joint Managing Director. Ms. Pavitra Shankar, Managing Director. Mr. Pratyumna Krishna Kumar, Executive Director. Good morning. Mr. Roshin. Good morning. Now I'll introduce the independent directors in the alphabetical order. Mr. Biju Kurian, independent director. Namaskaram. Ms. Lakshmi Ankashina, independent director and chairman chairperson of the Stakeholder Relationship Committee. Mr. Pradeep Kumar Panja, independent director. Morning, everyone. Dr. Venkatesh Panchabhageshin, independent director and chairman of the audit committee. Good morning. Mr. V.V. Rangnathan, Independent Director. Good morning. Representatives of the statutory auditors, secretarial auditors, cost auditors, and senior officials of the company are attending this meeting from their respective locations. Electronic inspection of the statutory registers, the ESOP uh, certificates for the ESOP plans of 2017 and 2022 are available uh, for online inspection during the course of this meeting. The requisite quorum is uh, present for the meeting. Considering that the meeting is held through video conferencing, proxies are not allowed. Now I hand over the mic to the chairman. Thank you. Uh, welcome you to the 28th annual general meeting of the company and the uh, EAGM. Hope you and your family members are healthy and staying safe. All possible efforts in the current situation to help the host participate in the video conference and in the AGM. The annual report, including the notice of the meeting and the unqualified statutory auditor's report of the financial statements, have been emailed to the shareholders, and I suggest that the same be taken as a Now I'll uh, go, go through my uh, a speech for the AGM. La ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, my pleasure to welcome you all again to this 28th AGM of your company. This will be the last year we are holding the AGM online. Therefore, if there are any glitches due to connectivity and software issues, kindly bear with the inconvenience. Of course, K Fintech have a robust software and they have tried their best to take all K take care of all eventualities. To touch upon the macroeconomic front, the mindless war between Russia and Ukraine continues. Other than helping clear the stockpile of weapons in few Western economies and securing billions of dollars of uh, fresh orders for manufacture of uh, weapons in their, uh, for their companies, it has only resulted in destroying large areas in Ukraine and displacing millions of its citizens. The war has resulted in much of Europe to get into recession as a result of high inflation. From a unipolar world with the United States ruling the roost since the disintegration of USSR during 91-92, the world is getting back to a bipolar world with the second largest economy of the world, the communist China, supporting Russia. While politically the world has become bipolar again, Economically, countries have become more interdependent than ever due to globalization and WTO policies. This is posing a huge challenge to different economies, particularly to the United States and to the countries in Europe. Our Indian government has played its cards smartly. Our country is beginning to see the benefit of China plus one strategy of the developed economies, not only for sourcing their product requirements, but also because they see India as a good 
investment destination. This has largely helped Indian economy become resilient and not be affected so far by the war in Ukraine. The best indicator is the stupendous increase in Sensex and Nifty indices and the Indian foreign exchange reserves crossing again US dollar 600 billion. Several senior bankers feel that for the first time after many, many years, all sectors of businesses in uh, uh, India are doing well. One can only hope this good show sustains for a longer time, thereby helping Indian GDP reach US dollar 5 trillion sooner than later. The spoiled sport can, of course, be poor monsoon. Now it is uh, again improving, of course. Interest rate increase and unexpected events like political turmoil. The ruling party at the center got the shock of its life by badly losing state elections in Karnataka. The smart electorate of Karnataka has pu punished the unexpected poor performance of the previous government, apart from succumbing to the lure of multiple freebies offered by the winning party. While this has invigorated the opposition parties against the ruling party at the center, it has also made the 2024 parliamentary elections more unpredictable. Anything can happen. What India requires is political stability and retaining its position in the world order and the goodwill generated during the past few years. What this all means to the business is the question. Uncertainty to a great extent in my opinion. One never knows when the current positive sentiments will start turning negative, though there is absolutely no indication at present. The residential real estate sector is continuing to grow in a healthy way. Financial year 2020-2023 is the best so far for the sector. Work from home, or for that matter, work from anywhere culture, is continuing in a big way in United States and Europe and it has created millions of square feet of vacant space, vacant office space in those countries, which has resulted in cautious approach by Indian and MNC companies in the tech sector to sign up new office space. Most experts feel this could be a cyclical and temporary phenomenon. The good news is that some MNC companies are increasing the size of their global capability centers in India as a way to cut costs by offshoring work, thereby helping to retain and improve their profitability. This is the saving grace for Indian office real estate sector. Data localization policy of the Indian government has also resulted in increased demand for centers. So also the growing organized retail business has increased the demand for fulfillment centers or warehouses. In such a macro environment, Brigade is trying to play its cards well but carefully. We have made headway in increasing our presence in Chennai significantly. We are trying to do the same in the highly competitive real estate market of Hyderabad. While a number of new laws related in the financial year, opening the street authorities approval is becoming more challenging than ever before for a variety of reasons. By adhering to the multiple rules, administrative procedures, and after overcoming red tape, if one succeeds in real estate business in India, key developers desire, desire to receive accolades and a pat on our back. Rightly, the new government in Karnataka state is stopping the brand bangle to improve the image of the city, which has taken a beating due to severe traffic congestion, insufficient infrastructure and, and implementation. <clears throat> Bangalore deserves better treatment by the state government. Bangalore, which contributes more than 50% of the tax revenue to the state, should receive similar share in expenditure budget of the state to improve its infrastructure. Bangalore is not just a city of Karnataka. It is now a global city known for innovation and home to hundreds of multinational corporations. So the residential real estate business across market performed well during the year for Brigade with strong end-user demand. We had surpassed 
all our yearly performances till date with the highest sales value as well as collections. We achieved an all-time high new bookings of 6.33 million square feet with a total value of rupees 4,109 crores. Total collections from real estate business for the year aggregated to rupees 3,884 crores. Our office business has remained stable with close to 99% collections and about 1.2 million square leasing during the financial year FY23. Hospitality business has showcased a sharp revival in average that the occupancies during the current year has been consistently going up. The retail vertical achieved higher retail sales consumption over pre-COVID levels by more than 100% for like-to-like -like trading units and consistent traction on the leasing front with new rental greater than 20% of the pre-COVID levels on an average. Your company has posted a revenue of rupees 3,563 crores for financial year 23 as against rupees 3,066 crores in the previous year, an increase of 16%. This is as per IND AS accounting standards. The earnings before depreciation, interest, tax, and amortization generated by the data stood at rupees 938 crores financial year 23 <coughs> as against rupees 23 crores in the previous year, being an, showing an increase of 17%. The profit tax and minority interest is rupees 291 crores in the current financial year as against rupees 83 crores in the previous year, which means more than 350% jump. Based on the figures mentioned above, you will agree that the company has done fairly well in financial year ending 23 in all four SPOs we operated, residential, office, retail, and hospitality, in spite of the challenges and not being able to launch many new projects. We are hoping and working towards a brighter financial year 24. Coming to dividend announcement, you are aware that for the year-ended 31st March 2023, the Board of Directors have recommended a dividend of 20% on the increased capital. I recommend that the resolution is adopted when taken up. Brigade and its people have also received few recognitions during the past few months. I would like to make a special mention that I was awarded by the Federation of Karnataka Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the Karnataka Sir M. M. B. M. Visheshwaraya Award on Engineers Day on September 15, 2022, for significant contribution to business in the fields of education, health, community development, social and philanthropic activities towards the civil society. Naturally, I dedicate this recognition to my, to my entire team Without true support, it is not possible to achieve all that was achieved. In addition, your company and its people have received many more awards. It is always a matter of pride to be recognized by credible organizations and industry experts. Here are some of the recognitions and awards we received in 2023. To name a few, Brigade Foundation won the best CSR activity award at the Credai Karnataka Care Awards 2023 for its various CSR initiatives. Brigade Group was recognized as one of the best companies to work for the 12th successive time. Our ranking has improved a lot to number 20, uh, number 58 among 1,600 companies that participated across the country and across sectors. Orion Mall continues to win awards and it won three awards at the Retail and Shopping Centers uh, Association uh, Award Ceremony for Excellence in Shopping Center and Mall Marketing in the categories of Shopping Center of the Year, Metro South, Most Admired Shopping Center of the Year, Retailer's Choice, Best Thematic Decoration. Brigade Customer Connect Team won 
Customer Connect Initiative of the Year at the 14th Reality Excellence Awards. So also the residential digital team for the digital marketing campaign of the year. Our director Brigade of Brigade Hospitality, Mr. Vinith Verma, was inducted as the senior vice president of Bangalore Chamber of Commerce and Industry, known as BCIC, for the year 2023-24. In the Women Icon Conclave Awards of 2023, three brigadiers, Ms. Rajeshwari, Ms. Tara, and Ms. Rija, were recognized. Last but not the least, in the FIKI Riza Awards 2023, FIKI stands for Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Chennai, three of our projects were recognized. World Trade Center Chennai, Brigade Residences at World WTC Chennai, and Brigade Granadu as the best gated community in Chennai. Your company is quite resilient during these most challenging times, and we have managed to keep our head above the water, unlike quite a few companies. Our approach is to overcome the challenges businesses continuously face in this, in this competitive world to see the opportunity in a fast developing country in India also. Before I close, I would like to thank you shareholders on behalf of all the directors for the confidence reposed in the company. I would also like to place on record my sincere thanks to the staff of Brigade Group for their good work and contribution to the growth of the company. I would like to record my thanks to all other stakeholders like bankers, auditors, architects, consultants, contractors, landowners, vendors for their cooperation and support and most importantly to our valued customers without whom no business can survive. Lastly, my thanks to all other directors on the board for their contribution and participation during the year, which has helped me to discharge my responsibilities. Last but not the least, to the support I've received from my family. Thank you all for the patient hearing. Jai Hind. Now, I will request the company secretary to give general inst instructions and brief on the proceedings. Thank you, sir. The annual report of the company for the financial year 22-23 has been sent through electronic means to all the shareholders in accordance with the applicable guidelines and circulars issued by the regulatory authorities, that is Ministry of Corporate Affairs and the Securities and Exchange Board of India. Having said that, shareholders who are requested for physical copies, the same has been dispatched to the respective shareholders. The company had uh, provided to its members uh, the facility of uh, remote uh, e-voting on the proposed resolutions from Thursday, 3rd August 2023, 9am to Sunday, 6th August uh, 2023, 5pm through the voting platform provided by KFIN Technologies Limited, registrars and transfer agents of the company. Members who are not voted through the remote e-voting can vote using the InstaPoll option made available by KFinTech by clicking on the left-hand bottom of the screen once the same is enabled on the instructions of the chairman. The company has appointed Mr. K. Rajshekar, Practicing Company Secretary, as the scrutinizer to scrutinize the e-voting process. The result of the meeting along with the scrutinizer's report shall be intimated to the stock exchanges within two working days. And the same will also be uploaded on the website of the company and uh, K Fintech, the registrar and transfer agents of the company. The resolutions will not be proposed and seconded. Combined results of the remote e-voting and e-voting during the meeting will be considered for approval of the resolutions. Now, a few instructions relating to shareholders registered for speaking at the meeting. All registered speakers have been kept on mute. The speakers will be unmuted once the name is called out. Speed and working of audio video mode for joining the meeting by members dependent, depends on the internet uh, capacity. If there is any technical glitch at the speaker's, uh, speaker shareholder's end, we will proceed with the next uh, speaker shareholder and get back to you once after the technical glitch is sorted out. If any unanswered questions are there, then the same will be responded by email. I will now request the chairman to move the resolutions. Thank you, Mr. With the permission of the member, I now move the resolution.
resolutions by calling the brief description of the resolutions proposed to be passed. Resolution. So we are getting a disturbance. Adoption of standalone financial statements and consolidated financial statements of the company for the financial year 31st March 2023. Yes, sir. We are getting a disturbance from the boardroom. Resolution number two. Declaration of interest to be two per share for the financial year ended 2022-2023. Resolution number three. Appointment of Mr. Mr. Shankar as the director of the Resolution number four. Appointment of Mr. Mr. Shankar as the director of the Boardroom. We are getting a disturbance. Getting a disturbance from the boardroom. I request the boardroom to kindly check the uh, audio quality, sir. So, meanwhile, I'll just invite all the speaker shareholders. I request Mr. Manjit Singh to kindly unmute your audio and switch on your webcam and proceed with it. So no response received. I request our next uh, speaker, Mr. Rajesh Kevalram Chanani. We request you to kindly unmute your audio, switch on your webcam and proceed with your question. Thank you. No response received. I request our third speaker, Mr. K. Bharat Raj. We request you to kindly unmute your audio, switch on your webcam, and proceed with your question. Yeah, very good morning, uh, Chairman. I'm Bharat Raj calling from Hyderabad. Sir, I'm audible, sir. You are audible, sir. Kindly proceed. Yeah, yeah. Due to technical reason, I cannot come to the video, sir, because the bandwidth is slow. Uh, Chairman, sir, under your leadership, wonderful performance, sir. I congratulate the entire board of directors. It's an honor of my company into the next level, Mr. Chairman. Chairman, sir, I'm happy that you received Bharat Rotor Vishweshar Award. It is a great privilege and honor for us, sir. Because you have done so many, you have changed the uh, entire city of the Bangalore into Singapore and uh, like uh, uh, Malaysia, sir. The, now, if you see the Bangalore, if you compare the 20 years now, it is a lot of changes. The buildings, what you created, it creates, it, it makes me Bangalore most lovable city uh, in India, sir. I'm very happy, sir, and I also congratulate you for the best working place, sir. Uh, wonderful, sir. This is all the great goes to our uh, young dynamic leaders, our uh, MD and the giant MD, our uh, Pavitraji and Nirupamaji. Under the leadership, my 
brand is growing more more powerful sir uh, chairman sir thanks for your uh, wonderful dividend sir sir can you see expect in next year 50% dividend sir because now this year we received the highest net profit please look into the interim dividend at least into at least interim dividend uh, so that we will be more happy with the chairman uh, chairman sir uh, we have at present eight hotels uh, any future plans coming into the hyderabad sir you are must concentrate in hyderabad hospitality industry because the hospitality industry is in hyderabad is very huge sir uh, so please look please set up a hospitality hotel in a in hyderabad so that uh, it people are more in hyderabad and the city is expanding widely sir so please concentrate uh, in hyderabad one hospitality hotel in the annual report you told that we are uh, upcoming one hotel sir please let me know where other hotel is coming sir uh, i congratulate the manager for wonderful csr sir you received the best csr award also sir thank you sir see this is the uh, shows of the integrity and the honesty how we are committed for the society this all goes to our chairman jay shankar garu he is a wonderful not only doing hard work for my company but giving to the society also it shows the sign uh, what we have done for the country sir wonderful sir you will continue this legacy one uh, continue sir sir uh, so chairman sir i thank the secretary department of in time mr om prakash has sent me the annual report he is always accessible 365 days is a company sir thank you very much and i also uh, share uh, i want to sell the i want to share a uh, samar also sir our executive leader young dynamic leader he is also doing hard working for our company wonderful sir my best wishes to him mr samar all the best for the coming year chairman sir am i audible sir hello Yeah, no, you're right. No, 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 no. Thank you, sir. Ah, uh, Chairman, sir, once again, my best wishes to you, sir. All the best for the coming years. We all support all the resolutions, sir. I support our uh, young dynamic leader, uh, Mr. Uh, Miss uh, uh, Pavitra Nirupama, making MD and JD. It is a wonderful sign for my company, giving the young generation, uh, young leadership to our company, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, J. Shankar Gar. All the best. You should, uh, you should also receive Padma Vibhushan or Padma Vibhushan coming day, sir. I'll be more happy, sir. All the best for the coming years. God bless you, sir. Take care, sir. Sir, next year, sir, personal request. We'll have a fiscal agent, sir. Sir, it is all the three years are finished, sir. We want to meet you fiscally, sir. Next year, please come at fiscal agent, sir. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Take care, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We'll move to. Thank you, Mr. K. Bharat Raj. I request our next speaker, Mr. Ramesh Shankar Gulla. We request you to kindly unmute your audio, switch on your webcam, and proceed with your question. Thank you. No response to me. I request our next speaker, Ms. C. E. Mascarenas. We request you to kindly unmute your audio, switch on your webcam, and proceed with your question. Thank you. No response to me. I request our last speaker, Mr. Ashit Kumar Patnaik, we request you to kindly unmute your audio, switch on your webcam, and proceed with your question. Thank you. Am I audible? You are audible. Sir, I am. Ha. You are audible. Ha. Kindly proceed with your question. Thank you. Very good morning, respected chairman, MD, vice MD, board of directors, company secretary, fellow members, joining at 28th AGM of Brigade Enterprises Limited. My name is Ashit Kumar Patnaik. joining from damdam kolkata at first my extreme gratitude to our uh, company secretary mr p omprakash and secretarial department and leadership teams for sending me the annual report and notice by email very well in advance and allow me to speak and the excellent remarkable opening speech by our respected chairman i had noted all the valid points regarding the future prospects of my company and i also very proud to be a member of this company because our respected chairman achieved padma vibhushan award thank you for this now i coming to the my point excellent financial performance no doubt profit after tax achieved 291 crores against 83 crores 168% growth in net profit 
also nicely my company's rating achieved from AA minus to A plus, and 13 years recognized a great place of work. Nice, nicely achieved, sir. But I have some few points we like to share, sir. Financial 24, we are facing <coughs> high dependency on physical workforce and surge in cost of construction materials. Inventory sheets mentions highly 1,103 cores against 426 cores mentioned. And unavailing of land. Also at Chennai, we purchased the land and very higher price, 1,032 crores against 589 crores. And higher borrowing cost due to repo rate. Also, difficult process of land acquisition and high property prices and increase of population and keeping up with technology and increasing of competition. With this all the factors, how our company's management team going to prospective business throughout the financial year 24 and also CapEx program for next three years. So some highlights. Here, throw some highlights, the business relations with my company management team, Government of Singapore Investment Corporation, if possible, throw some highlights. And this is the vital problem we are facing, that is EAG, Environment Social Governance. How my company's management team are ready to face this problem? If possible, throw some highlights about this. And also, it mentioned that average debt cost hour is 8.67 crores. And also <coughs> mentioned uh, 2139.30 crores debt. So you throw some highlights of our debt reduction policy. Also, sir, uh, you mentioned that you said throw some highlights of occupation status at mention our physics, uh, our finished projects, aggregating 6.95 million square feet. If possible, throw some highlights. And it mentioned that our average realization price per square feet is rupees 6,806 mentioned. Uh, we are facing some challenges from our other players with this average price, if possible, so some highlights about this. And sir, uh, if, you, if you don't mind, what is the uh, present uh, status of the 40 crores bonds of Lakshmi Villas Bank, which is totally mentioned impairment value? If possible, for some highlights. And also page 132, it mentioned BCV developers private limited granted loan to 31 crores. Overdue and settled by extension, 100%. Sir, any chance this amount for any impairment? Please, possible, for some highlights. And finally, uh, about the uh, what are the cost controls we are maintaining? Because other expenditure increased from 554 crores again 40, 441 crores, and also we are paying the legal and professional charges, and also pending dispute mention is 100 and page page 104. So possible to some highlights, and the promoter holding may be increased to 50 percent at present is 43.79 percent mentioned, and finally, sir, I. I'm really proud of my company because I visited at Bangalore, Iyalanka. I have taken very, uh, very, very uh, good in construction of my company. And sir, uh, finally, that is dividend paying is very low. If you pay some special dividend or any reward to attending members, that will be very pleasure. I pay to God for your good health and prosperity of my company year to year. Thanking you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Parker. So we have uh, our one of the speaker, Mr. Rajesh Kevalram Chanani, uh, who has joined us back. Uh, I request Mr. Rajesh Kevalram Chanani to come be unmuted. Hello, I'm an audible. You are audible, sir. Can you proceed with your question? Yeah, respected Chairman, Mr. Jay Shankar Ji, Nirupama Shankar, Pavitra Shankar Ji, and CFO Atul Golji, and a very highly distinguished eminent board of directors, my fellow shareholders. My name is Rajesh Chanani. I'm speaking from Mumbai. So first of all, I thank our company secretary, secretary Mr. Om Prakashi, for sending the email notice very well on time. And I thank the KFNTEC also for getting, uh, giving me the opportunity to speak. So we, the price of our share today is uh, trading at 589, sir. And it touched the high of 607. So the performance of the company has been very good, sir. 
Previously, our price was very, very low. You know, it was not even moving. But our, some projects have really come out very well, sir. And uh, I got the opportunity to see your project at uh, Banjara Hills, where you have come up with a very good project, sir. Sir, any any plans of coming to Mumbai, sir? Because I have not seen any of the projects of uh, Brigade in Mumbai. So, are there any plans of uh, coming to Mumbai, sir? And, sir, the share capital of the company and the reserves are very good. And you have maintained the dividend, but, sir, sir, don't increase the dividend, sir. We need a lot of funds for, you know, for the expansion. So, you can continue holding the reserves, sir, because this is a real estate market, sir. You don't know today what is there and what is tomorrow. Because I am being in Mumbai, I have seen the prices going down also, going up also, and being stable also. So, as a developer, sir, you have to be very careful with your reserves. Because we have to complete the project and, you know, submit it on time, sir. And our name has been very good, sir. So, like Prestige, Brigade, you know, these have really gave a very good name. And, sir, there is nothing much to add. Only few words I have to say, sir. Uh, continue with this VC, sir. Because today I am speaking from Mumbai, but, sir, you have shareholders from, not only from India, sir, from overseas also. Many, many shareholders, sir. And all the software technology people are based overseas, sir. So, they are investing in Bangalore, Hyderabad and in South. So, give, at least they are getting the opportunity to speak or... If not speaking, at least they can join the, you know, AGM. So, for this, I want to say a few words, sir. Rishta chahe koi bhi ho, Shankar ji. Rishta chahe koi bhi ho, hire ki tarah hona chahiye. Dikhne mein chota sa, parantu kinti aur anmol hona chahiye. And other one is, sir, na dur rehne se, na dur rehne se rishte tur jate hain, aur na paas rehne se jur jate hain. Ye to ehsaas ke pakke daage hain, jo yaad karne se aur mazboot ho jate hain. So, sir, our relation with you is such, sir. So, wherever you are, sir, we are always with you and I support all your resolutions, sir. Thank you very much, sir, for giving me the opportunity to speak, sir. Thank you, Mr. Rajesh. So, with this, we complete the uh, Q&A session. Back to you, Chairman, sir. Thank you. Uh, so th thank you. Th thank you, shareholders, for the good words and uh, compliments given. So I'll answer uh, the, the question, consolidate and answer the question. So we, we have one shareholder asking for 50% dividend and another shareholder asking for uh, to maintain the dividend. So we will, uh, the board of directors will uh, evaluate from time to time and take uh, the best decision, keeping shareholders' interest in mind. At the same time, uh, the, no, not sacrificing the company's interest. And uh, as far as uh, uh, the Mr. Rajesh asked, inquired about uh, coming to Hyderabad, you will be happy to know. Uh, just the last week, we have uh, successfully bid for a project in uh, Coca Pet Neo Neopolis for a almost 10 acre property in uh, Hyderabad, where we will come out with a unique uh, concept and with a buildable potential of almost uh, 4 million uh, square feet. So I think in uh, next few months, uh, we will announce uh, uh, once our concepts are ready and once we get, uh, uh, you know, some uh, uh, few permissions. And uh, <clears throat> as regards Ms. Ashit Kumar's uh, comments, uh, see, uh, Lakshmi Vilas Bank ma matter uh, where, where uh, our, uh, you know, debt is uh, stuck. We had invested in their bonds, which is stuck. Thankfully, after a lot of uh, waiting, Supreme Court had directed the uh, Tamil Nadu High Court to consolidate all the cases and uh, to take up the matter. Uh, in, there were several, several uh, cases by shareholders, bondholders, and others. So now, uh, as recent as last week, the first uh, hearing uh, happened. Uh, of uh, you know, the court consolidated the bondholders and shareholders uh, cases. First hearing happened last week, and uh, the uh, Honorable uh, Justice has uh, asked all the petitioners to file written statements on uh, the issue, and uh, the matter is likely to come up in the next uh, two to three weeks or so. I, I think uh, based on uh, legal opinion, uh, there is a very good uh, possibility of recovery of our m money invested. And as far as, uh, you know, uh, loan given to BCV, uh, which is a sub subsidiary company, uh, <clears throat> there is no impairment at all. 
currently bcb does not have any uh, you know institutional funds it is uh, repaid all its loans and uh, even this will uh, get repaid during the course of its uh, business and as per earlier understandings and uh, as regards uh, esg uh, the company seized of the issue in fact in 2022 we got uh, from among developers uh, community in the country, we were recognized for uh, good ESG work. But, you know, ESG work is a continuing process. And, uh, you know, year after year, the expectations have become more. The, uh, uh, you, you know, the scope of ESG is also becoming more. So the company seized up the issues. And uh, we are also, I think we will post uh, maybe uh, a mail to the, uh, shareholders on the ESG efforts done. Uh, the, there is a su sustainability report also on uh, ESG, which uh, I, I think it has been uh, sur circulated to everybody. Kindly request you to go through that. And, uh, uh, you know, naturally, we are also happy to, that the stock price has uh, uh, gone up and shareholders have been uh, uh, benefited. The company has got... Uh, uh, quite a few new projects we have signed up to the extent of almost 23 million uh, square feet in the last uh, one year. We hope uh, to launch, uh, to obtain the permissions uh, for all this as early as possible and launch them. We have no immediate plans to come to Mumbai because uh, we feel, uh, uh, you know, the South Indian cities, whether it is Chennai, Hyderabad, Bangalore, offers uh, enough opportunities for growth and uh, instead of um, you know spreading our efforts uh, thin into many many cities we would uh, like to focus on some of the uh, uh, you know south indian markets which are uh, stable and uh, qu quite uh, strong your suggestion on uh, continuing with the video conference uh, is a good one we will uh, see how we can do a hybrid uh, me method next year uh, there are uh, there is demand for having physical meetings also there is demand for having a video conference also we will uh, try to do a hybrid uh, uh, a agm and uh, uh, as far as average realization is concerned it is uh, uh, good and modest i wouldn't uh, say it is very high because uh, we also have uh, we also have a lot of affordable housing projects where the selling rates are, uh, uh, you know, much less. That is the reason average is in the range of 6,800. Otherwise, it should have uh, been even more. Yeah. 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 And uh, the other thing uh, shareholders will be happy to know, while the repo rate increase is about 2.5%, uh, uh, yeah, sorry, 3.65%, uh, brigade's uh, you, you know interest rate has gone up only by 2.17 percent in the last uh, uh, you know few years. So the average interest. So the, that way we have done uh, better than the repo rate uh, increases that uh, the economy has seen and RBI has proposed. I. And uh, naturally, we are also happy that uh, the rating uh, from both Krizil and Ikra has uh, gone up uh, uh, from A plus to double A minus stable. And see, uh, there is a certain amount of uh, inventory you mentioned about it. It is required uh, to have, uh, say, unless you have a stock to sell, there is uh, no business, uh, no revenue will accrue. So it is a continuous process creating new stock. Having stock, selling stock, that is uh, what business is all about. So we need to, we, we should have stock to offer and we should also have uh, more projects to launch and uh, uh, also so sales uh, should be robust. So the, that way the company can grow year, year after year. Uh, I think these are some of the clarifications uh, we have given. So... So I, I would like to repeat, uh, the e-voting win, uh, window uh, is activated for members to vote during the AGM. 
members are requested to vote by clicking the vote button visible on the left hand bottom of your screen if not already done the e voting will end on casting of the last vote or 15 minutes from the end of this meeting whichever is earlier i now declare the meeting as closed stay safe and stay healthy thank you very much jai hind